Welcome! Thank you for coming to the channel. And today we are going to cover ESC Configurator and how to flash BlueJ to your ESCs or your Form 1 or your All in 1. But, anyways, either or whatever you've got, it's a very simple task. And I'm going to show you here how we do it. So first we're going to go up here in the address bar. If you don't already have it, type ESC and as you see, configurator.com. Go to that. And up here in the right hand corner, my tab is already gone. But you will have a tab here that shows a little computer with like a down arrow. Click that icon and it will give you the option to install the app if you want if you don't want to you can continue through using the web based right here the web based version is just fine but I'm gonna go ahead and continue using the app I'm gonna exit out of here here is the actual app if you aren't familiar once you do install that app it will automatically open this in a separate window that looks just like this if you are familiar then please just follow along so First off, you're going to want to plug in your quad and do this first. This is how I do it and it has worked for me flawlessly. Okay, once your quad is plugged in, then you're going to want to connect the battery before hitting connect. Okay, once your battery is connected, you'll see up here also that it says plugged in. And that doesn't mean battery plugged in, it just means that you it notices your quad. And if it doesn't say that, you can hit open port selection and select which mine is beta flight STM32 F411. Yours may be F7 or F405, it could be anything. But nonetheless, it'll say beta flight, mu flight, on av, whatever you've got, and your chip, and it'll say paired. If it don't, you click it, hit connect. And just like that you are paired we're gonna connect we're gonna hit read settings okay now mine is already updated but if yours doesn't have all these options just ignore that for now I want you to take note of your ESC motor direction settings for each one or else you'll just have to go back in beta fly and, and do the wizard again but this makes it easier once you flash if it changes any of these you can change them right back the reversed or normal or bi-directional or bi-directional reversed so we're going to click flash all ESCs you will be in a window like this if you are if you already have blue J, you will be in a window like this and you know what to do but nonetheless, click BlueJ as your firmware. Do not click ESC. Do not change this parameter as it will mess up your ESC. It could possibly break it because this automatically chooses. So then you want to select your version, which will be the latest. As of right now, it's 19.2. You want to select your PWM frequency. In my case, I'm going with 48 it's going to give me longer flight time especially better than 24 I would suggest flashing any and everything to 48 really but it's going to give me longer flight time cooler motors and just all around better performance so we're going to click flash do not bump or unplug your quad in any way during this process or you can break your ESC make it unusable well, at least temporarily unusable. You'll make it more of a mess than you want it to be. I started this video out and saying this was simple and I would like to end it in being simple for you. If anything happens and you have any questions or comments or otherwise please leave them down below in the comment section and if you like this content and would like to help support the channel and help me bring the channel up and build it and make more content like this please feel free to show your support 
and I will leave a few ways to do that down in the comment section below and in the description. Also, you can reach me on my email and my comments. I will respond. So, now that it's done, you want to make sure your stuff is set back to how it was, or if it's not changed, then you're golden. Over here, I want to go over a few things. Minimum startup power, boost. This will give your quad a little bit more oomph if it's having trouble spinning the props when you are. Do not go too high with this as it will fry your motors, or it can fry your motors. Now, maximum startup power. This is protection against, like, a high voltage spike. I would not, under any circumstances, alter these parameters. This limits power when starting motors or reversing direction, but it is already set at a great level as it is from default, and I would leave it at that. Unless you are professional and you know exactly what you're doing, that's my take on this. Now, minimum startup power, you can increase that slightly to give your quad a little bit better of a startup power. It's just to get your motor spinning, that's all. You've got temperature protection, leave this at default. Motor timing, you can, you can mess with this a little. You can go between high and medium high uh, if you're having desync issues. But most of the time on medium high, you're gonna be just fine. In racing situations, there may be a reason why you would wanna go in higher, higher but yeah. And DMAG compensation as well. It will take care of high DMAG compensation scenarios, which means desyncs. It's where you're gonna be desyncing a lot. If you do, you can try changing this. But if your quad is flying fine, or try flying it on all these parameters being normal, as they are, and if it's fine, then just leave them as they are. Um, RPM power protection, ramp up. You can alter this, but again, this protects from high voltage spikes and things like that nature um, and a few other things. But if you do decrease it, it does give you a bit more power, like a bit more torque. Uh, limits how much power can be increased according to how fast the motor is spinning. Lower values will avoid power spikes but can also decrease acceleration and maximum attainable speed. Now, I know you're gonna think, oh, well, in that case, I just want to turn it as far down as I can, like way down here. You're not gonna get that much of a, I mean, some people do, but it's not worth the risk. It's just not. I would leave it at nine or 10. Beep strength is how loud your quad is going to be when it starts up, when you start it. The startup time the beacon strength is how loud it's going to be whenever it is screaming at you i'm over here i'm over here okay um next we have beacon delay that is how long it's going to take before this right here is how long it'll be before it starts beeping after it's lost contact with your transmitter um i would actually set that to like five minutes uh, EWM dithering, leave that on. I don't, there's no reason to turn that off. Brake on stop, leave it off. There is reasons to turn it on, but unless you know why, leave it off. Maximum braking strength, you want to leave that up where it's at. And ESC power rating, be sure if your ESC is only capable of 1S, to select 1S, as this most likely will be on this setting. And that is a default for just the program so you need to change this if your ESC is only capable only capable of 1s then select that if you are running 1s on it but it is capable of more than 1s you want to select 2s plus or if it's an ESC that can run anything more than 1s you want to select 2s plus and again if you're just running 1S on an ESC that can handle more, you still want to select 2S Plus. And one more time, if you're running an ESC that can only handle 1S and nothing more, not even if you wanted it to, you must select 1S. And in my case, that is the case. So, once you're done with this, 
you're going to want to hit right settings. Okay. If you want to change your your startup sound, you're going to be met with a window like this after you've opened Melody Editor. You want to unless you want to play in different sounds of the whole song, you're going to synchronize melodies and I will show you something. Each like this is a different like this is different parts oops well it used to be different parts of the song but now it's synced up so I'm gonna go in here and we're gonna go snap where's that snap 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 there we go alright see there so unless you want your ESC's playing different parts at one time you're gonna want to select synchronize ESC's and you can select which one of these you want the way you select it is you just like you would click on it like that you'll see this right here you'll click accept and that's what will go on your ESC's so you'll hit accept uh, I don't know. I don't know how to get that specific tone other than clicking accept and it will go to that ESC But I usually click synchronize melodies hit accept hit right melodies You're done close disconnect And that's how it's done you're now finished and this is also what you're going to want to do randomly at random points in time to come back and check up for updates because there is new features and stuff being implemented all the time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from this video. And again, if you have any questions or comments or can anything else, please, please leave it down in the comment section below and or email me. I enjoy that i get to make this kind of stuff for you all and i can't wait to see what the future brings